Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in the Building a Smart Home Cheaply series. In our last episode, we made an automation that told us tomorrow's forecast. At the end of that episode, I suggested getting a smart switch so that we can work on location-based automations. That's what this video is gonna focus on. In this video, you're gonna learn how to make things occur when you arrive home and when you leave home or when you go to another location like work or the grocery store, etc. The example in this case will be turning on a smart switch when we arrive home and turning it off when we leave. As I covered in the last video, there are some practical use cases for this, like turning on a light that's plugged into the smart switch when you come home, or turning on a fan, or turning on something like a wax warmer. One more thing we'll cover in this video is how to turn it off after a certain amount of time, even if you're still home. If, for instance, you don't want it to be on the entire time that you're home. One final thing that we're gonna cover in this video is if you want an automation to run only if you're home, for instance, if you want the lights to turn on at 9 a.m., but only if you're home, we're gonna go over how to get that set up as well. Okay, so in Home Assistant, you're gonna to want to associate your device that is tracking your location with you as a person. If we go to our developer tools on the left sidebar and we go to person dots, we'll see ourself listed here in the developer tools. You'll probably notice that your location is currently unknown you're gonna to wanna to associate a device with you. So to do that, you'll go to the configuration tab on the left. You're gonna scroll down to persons. Make sure that you are registered within Home Assistant, but if not, click the plus button in the bottom right to add you as a person. Once you've done that, you're gonna link your Home Assistant account to your person. So I'm gonna choose my account. And then you're gonna click in the device drop down menu here, the device that you wanna associate your location with. If you're not seeing this drop down list, it means that you don't have a device registered with Home Assistant that is providing location information. For some examples on how to get that set up, if you have an iOS device that you want to track, click the card that's showing up right now for information on how to get that linked up to Home Assistant. There are other ways beyond just iOS devices for you to track location. For some examples, go to Home Assistant's website, which is home-assistant.io, go to the integrations tab at the top, and in the left sidebar in the categories, you'll see something called presence detection. All of these will provide ways of tracking whether or not you're home. So look into one that might be interesting to you. If you're really concerned about sharing your location with Home Assistant, there is the option of using something like Netgear, which will basically say you're home whenever a device that you specify is connected to the network. To learn more about that, go to the Netgear page on Home Assistant. Going back to our configuration, we've now associated a device with our person. Press update. If we go back to developer tools and we look at the states list, and then we search for person dot, and we go to our name, we're gonna see the state is now either home or not home. This is gonna be determined based on the home radius that you set when you were setting up Home Assistant. To find the different zones that you've set up on the Home Assistant map, go to the left sidebar and you'll see them here on the map. To add an additional zone like work, you'll click the pencil icon in the top right, you'll click the plus button in the bottom right, and then you can zoom out on the map and choose your location of the zone by double clicking on the map. You can also use coordinates and use something online that will convert a location like an address to coordinates and you can just plug those in here instead. Using this little circle here, you can make your radius for this zone bigger or smaller and then you can name it at the top as well as apply an icon. In my case, I'm gonna make a zone called work. Cool, zooming out on the map, I can now see I have home registered here and I have work registered here as well. To control your smart switch with Home Assistant, if you haven't already yet, you need to get it integrated with it. In order to get your smart switch integrated with Home Assistant to control, go to the Configuration tab, go to Integrations, make sure that your smart switch is now joined to the network following the instructions from the manufacturer, and in the bottom right you'll click the plus button and you'll search for the company that created your smart switch. In my case I suggested getting a Wemo switch, so I would search for Wemo, I would click this on the list, I would say yes I want to set up Wemo. Once it's added you're going to see your switch registered under the Integrations tab. If we go back to developer tools and we search for switch dot, we'll find that your smart switch has now been added to Home Assistant. Clicking the little info button on the left will let you toggle the smart switch on or off, as well as provide other details about your switch if they are provided. All right, let's dive into the automations now. Let's have this switch turn on when we arrive home. Go into configuration, go to your automations tab, and click the plus button in the bottom right. Skipping this wizard, we're going to create a new automation that says, turn on my smart switch when I arrive home. And we're not going to bother with the description on this. So for the trigger type, you're going to choose state. 
And on the entity list drop down, you're gonna type in person dot, and you're gonna choose you. Here we can choose which location will trigger this automation. Your location can be one of three things. It can either be not home, as written here. It can be home, or it can be the actual name of another zone that you've created, such as work. The capitalization is important. So not home is whenever you're not in any sort of registered zone on the map. Home is when you're in your home zone, and the names of the zones that you have created will be following the capitalization that you used. So if I made a zone called work with a capital W, that'll be the name of the zone. In this case, I don't care which location I'm coming out of, I care about the location I'm arriving in. So in the to field is where I'm gonna write home. That means when I come from any location to home, then run this automation. Say I don't want the smart switch to turn on immediately. I want it to turn on maybe after 30 seconds, giving myself time to actually go in through the front door. To do that, you would just do zero hours, zero minutes, and 30 seconds in this format. Again, these are the seconds, these are the minutes, and these are the hours. And this is the delay before this automation runs. Scrolling down past conditions, we're gonna go to actions. For the action type, we're gonna choose call service in the drop down list. And the service, we're gonna choose switch dot and choose the turn on option. You can also see there's a turn off and a toggle. Toggle is pretty self-explanatory. It just means that when it's on, it'll go to off, or if it was off, then it will go to on. In this case, we explicitly wanna turn it on. So we're gonna choose switch dot turn on. And then in the drop down for names of entities to turn on, you're gonna choose the smart switch. Click the save button in the bottom right. All right, we've created our automation. I'm gonna to go to the overview page and just to make this easier to follow for everybody, I'm gonna click the menu in the top right, configure UI, and I'm gonna add a card that shows us the state of my smart switch. Okay, so now we can clearly see in the video the state of my smart switch is off. Now, I don't really feel like going anywhere right now, so I'm just gonna simulate myself arriving home by manually setting the state of my device to be home. As you'll recall in the automation, I did put a 30 second delay in that four field. So it might take a second for it to actually turn on, specifically 30 seconds. Okay, pay close attention to my status in the top where it says I'm away. Now we can see Home Assistant has registered me as being home. The smart switch is still off. I'm gonna fast forward the video. There you can see it, the smart switch turned on. Awesome. Let's have it turn off when we leave home. To do that, go back to your configuration, go to automations, click the plus button in the bottom right, skip the wizard. Let's call this turn off my switch when I leave. Scrolling back down, you would just go to trigger type, state, entity, person dot, your name, and in the from field, all you're gonna put is home. This means that when it goes from home to any other location, run this automation. For actions, we're gonna do what we did before, call service, but in this case, we're gonna do switch dot turn off, and in the drop down list, we're gonna choose our smart switch, and we're gonna press save. Going back to the overview screen, I'm gonna simulate me leaving my home. As we can see, when I, the second I went to away, the smart switch turned off. Okay, but what if we want this device to turn on when we are getting close to home, but we're not quite there yet? There's two ways of doing this. One would be, say, if you leave your work zone as you have configured in your map, and you've left that zone for 10, 15 minutes, then turn on the smart switch. Another way would be to create another zone on your map that's a larger radius than your home, and you could call that something like neighborhood. For the first example, we would just go to configuration, automations, press the plus button, skip. The title we would put, turn on smart switch when I leave the office. And for the trigger, it would just again be state, person dot, your name, from work to any location, and that would mean the second you leave work, the smart switch comes on. But if you want this to only trigger 10 minutes after you've left work, you could do something like in the four field, zero hours, 10 minutes, and zero seconds. In this case, it's required that you populate the two field in order to put in a four duration. So in this case, we would do from work to not home as we covered earlier. And that just means when you've left the work zone to anywhere that's not home for 10 minutes, run this automation. Okay, so that's option one. The second option was again to Zoom in on your home radius, click the plus button in the bottom right, create a zone called neighborhood, zoom out a little bit, make it a larger radius, something of this size maybe, and you can change the icon as well if you would like, then press create. 
As you can see, my neighborhood radius is just a little bit too large, so I'm gonna shrink it a little bit to be about this size. Now I would just go to configuration, automations, plus button, skip, and I would say, turn on smart switch when I enter neighborhood. And for the triggers, I would go to state, person.me, and then I would put in the to field neighborhood. In this case, you would wanna specify a from to be not underscore home. Because otherwise, if you were to leave your home radius and then go into your neighborhood radius, then it would actually run this automation. But in that case, you're leaving home, so you don't want the smart switch to come on. So therefore, we want it to go from when we are not home into the neighborhood radius, run this automation, which as we've covered before, is again that call service, switch dot turn on, and the smart switch, and then you press save. Okay, so what if we wanna turn off our smart switch after it's been on for a certain amount of time? To do that, you would go to configuration, automation, and you would edit the automation that is turning on your smart switch. So I'm gonna edit the one that says, turn on my smart switch when I arrive home. Scrolling down to the action section, I'm gonna click on add action. So after the switch dot turn on, we're gonna actually do a delay. And that delay is going to be for, let's say, four hours and 30 minutes. After four hours and 30 minutes, I want another action to occur. So I'm gonna click add action. And then for the action type, I'm going to do call service, switch dot turn off, and I'm going to turn off the smart switch. Pressing save. Now this means that after four hours and 30 minutes, the smart switch will turn off. Say so we have a separate automation, and then maybe in your case, you already have smart lights configured within Home Assistant. In that case, Say you want the lights to come on at 9 a.m., but only when you're home. To do that, click the plus button in the bottom right. And for this automation, we're gonna say, turn on the lights when I am home. For the triggers, we're gonna just do a time-based trigger. And we're gonna say at 9 a.m. And under conditions, we're gonna say, state person.me. And if my state is home, in lowercase, then call service, and then you would choose in the list, if you had lights configured, it would be light dot light turn on. In this case, we have our smart switch, so we may as well have that turn on if we have a lamp plugged into it. So now at 9 a.m., as long as I'm home, that smart switch is going to turn on every day. All right, we just covered a lot, but it covers a lot of different use cases involving location. If you have any more questions or any more concepts that you wanna explore, leave a comment below and I can help address them and help you brainstorm a potential solution. Also feel free to share some of the automations you've come up with with the community so that we can learn from each other. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more automations and tutorials to come. Give a like if you felt like this video was helpful for you or would be helpful for others. Once again, I'm Grayson and I will see you in the next one.